say shots fired call last night in the city of Rochester quickly turned into a ghost gun investigation for police. One of the men arrested found to have multiple homemade firearm parts and equipment to make them inside his residence. Isabel Garcia joining us in studio now after speaking with the captain on scene last night. Isabel, what have you learned here? Yes, Natalie, it all started around 11 o'clock on Genesee and Moran Street, where police were responding to a call for shots fired. We're told when officers arrived to the scene, they observed a Cadillac driving away fast. Then after failing to stop the car, officers chased it to Epworth Street, where two people got out and ran away. Rochester police then say they found one of the men on Columbia Avenue who tried to resist arrest. A 9 millimeter ghost gun was recovered and it was loaded. 22 year old Roshan Nelson was arrested and charged with second degree criminal possession of a weapon as well as resisting arrest. Now during the arrest, police say a family member came out of a nearby home and according to police began with the officers. That person, 49 year old Roderick Nelson, was arrested and charged with second degree obstruction of governmental administration. Now, police say a search of his home uncovered multiple homemade firearms parts as well as equipment. Now, Captain Sam Lucian further explains how the investigation unfolded. After the uh, weapon was recovered, uh, they did learn that there may be uh, some endeavors going on relative to firearms manufacture. Not to delve too far into the personal, but that's uh, a pretty um, heart-wrenching endeavor to undertake when you know someone's armed with an illegal weapon. We're going to try to take them into custody safely. You know, we swore an oath to do that to protect everybody else and ourselves. And it can be a gut-wrenching endeavor to try to uh, take someone into custody who's got an illegal firearm. Roderick Nelson, police say, may face additional charges at a later date. Roshan was taken to Monroe County Jail. For now, reporting in the studio, Isabel Garcia, News 8.